I gotta go unload. I brought a whole nother load of, well, the rest of. Oh my God, start a sentence, Hannah. I brought a load of wood back from the cabin where I got four cords of wood delivered. Oh, heat. Also, good morning. Sorry. Hi. Welcome to the new video. <laughs> Jesus. <gasps> Brain's not on. Sorry. my god it's like six in the morning and it has snowed the deer were in my yard oh goodbye guys holy camoly what an experience oh do you see the deer hi goodbye <laughs> this is nuts <laughs> it's too early for this <laughs> It's cozy house though. I gotta get a fire going. snowed this morning and now the snow is all gone it uh melted whoa slippery socks slippery floor it's snowing kind of right now but it's all gone and i don't think you can see it if i hold still but it's snowing out there a little bit i am actually going to go back over to the cottages because i have not been there in a while and i need to winterize i gotta like get things inside i need to bring the plants over here I need to drain all the pipes, which I have no idea how to do, but I'm gonna have to figure out. I purchased a small air compressor. So hopefully my brain is smart enough to figure that out. And um, yeah, just like a plethora of other things. So I'm gonna pack up stuff. I know that you just watched me chop wood, but there's a little bit left to do. So I'm gonna do that, get that in, and then load up my van and head over there. I can just kind of sit on the ground to do this. This is so satisfying. I was definitely expending a lot more energy than I needed to at the beginning of this video when I could have just been sitting down enjoying myself. <laughs> I love getting good at things, you know? Like two years ago, I had never swung an ax in my life. And then now it's like part of, I have to. <laughs> and also I'm getting stronger, which is just mind blowing. Cause I hate the gym. I've never liked working out. So I've always had to like trick myself into working out. And I tell you, this summer has made me stronger than I have ever been in my entire life. I've been practicing my bow and arrow. And by practice, I mean I've pulled it out once now. And um, I was actually pretty good. I'm gonna go do more of that once I get to the cottage. Pulling back the bow has become much easier than the last time that I tried it. Albeit, last time I tried it, I had a fever. So I gotta give myself a little credit. Oh, now it's snowing again. Aww, I just realized the first time I showed you guys the house, I was sitting in that swing putting it up. 
a notification that my package from thread up just got here which i'm super stoked about they're sponsoring this video i actually already got one of the two packages i've been wearing them non-stop i got this uh this tank top and then also this like cute brown cardigan as well as this jacket i'm wearing all of these things so i'm gonna go run and grab it and then i'll show you what i got Okie dokie. Package acquired. So I'll tell you one thing, ThreadUp is a lot like an in-person thrift store. And the thing that is beautiful about online is that you can use their filter features to look for exactly what you're looking for. I own like one pair of jeans right now, but they fit perfectly and they're BDG brand jeans. So all I did was type in BDG jeans. I was just looking at exactly what I wanted to look for. I think these ones are like 19 bucks and originally they're 50. And then when I was looking for tops, I knew that I wanted fall tops. So what I would do is I'd go into the filter section. I would look for sweaters, like what colors I wanted, what kind of styles. The one that I'm wearing was actually what I splurged on. This I bought for $41. It was 100% wool, so it's nice and cozy and warm. And it originally was $153. So yeah, that's kind of how I go about shopping on ThreadUp. I usually kind of do a closet refresh seasonally. If you would like to check them out, you can use my code Hannah Lee, and that's gonna get you guys 30% off of your first order. Okay, I have packed up everything. It is like almost five o'clock because I have no time management ability whatsoever. And the last thing I have to pack up is the little mousy who is sleeping. So I gotta put her in a little, 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 little. I have to put her in her little cage. <laughs> I'm all oh, big stretch, big yawn. You have to go travel. You haven't been at your other cage in a long time. Okay. Gotta clean your face and pee first. I've been in here in a mile. A little wheatgrass. A little chin scratch, that'll do. on the yellow no no, no it's it's right above it damn wow we uh, accelerated our learning right here we just we we're like okay we're gonna do this <laughs> i wonder how we would do if we moved it 10 feet back whoa i want to know what, what happened, happened there. there my arms are getting tired <laughs> I think it just made a lot of sound during the face. That one that like went just right in between here yeah. is. Well, you can see how you hit like. Oh yeah. Poor tree. <laughs> oh, you go again. Um, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, uh, but Peter. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a long time since we've been together, Peter. For those of you who are new here, Peter is my cute little ranger. Let's see if you turn on. doing pete getting cold out in it we're gonna do it though this is gonna be good we got we got this there we go there's old trusty this is peter peter has been in the shop all summer because the throttle cable for this guy has been discontinued so my auto guy has been searching and searching and searching and searching so looks like he finally found it and now i get my Lovely little boy back. Just in time because Peter has heat. <laughs> it's like the only one of my vehicles that has heat. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> heat? This came right in time for winter, which is very, very nice. Oh, I missed you, Peter. Oh, you are such a little sweetheart. I want to apologize. I don't really want to apologize because it's just my mess, my messy life. <laughs> I was going to go into that sentence saying I apologize that this video is so messy and all over the place, but this is, that's just the way life is. So you're just going to have to get with the program. <laughs> um, it is 
one o'clock in the afternoon. I was going to start filming when I woke up, but my mom slept over last night as she did the night before. It's just been a really, really good morning. I'm in the zone where I'm just elated with life. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just, I'm like crying in the car, smiling ear to ear, like just so freaking thankful and grateful. And like, life is just so beautiful today. And I'm going to cry again, like right now, but like, I don't know how I got here. <laughs> I'm just so fucking happy. I don't think I've ever really talked too much about this, but like I was just sitting and reflecting because I've been sitting by the fire eating pizza, which is my happy place. <laughs> I was just reflecting how happy I am today and how glad I am that when I was manically depressed as a teenager, I decided to stay here <laughs> and get here. I wish I could tell her how great it's gonna be. This is not where this was meant to go. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna come back after my shower and I'm gonna be in go mode. I had no idea this was behind me. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, okay, she's back, she's clean, she's not crying, all is good. I am gonna weed whack. I already did, I don't know, I don't know who's watched what video. I weed whacked this area so that the wood guy could drop wood off and then now I'm gonna weed whack the other side just to get her done and then continue moving on with so many, so many winterizing projects, so many. Are you supposed to weed whack in the rain? I don't really know. I straight up quit. <laughs> My arms hurt. I don't know why. I feel like I, they should be, they should not. <laughs> so I decided to bring in Despero's mouse cage from the other cabin. All right, by George, I am doing this. I've been putting it off. I'm going outside and I'm cleaning out the van because I'm gonna leave in the van and the van needs some up upkeep, not upkeep, but just I need to like clean it out. So I'm putting it off by doing other projects around here, but now it's time. It's time, it's time, we're gonna do it. It's chilly out here. All right. Oh, but then you walk outside and it's so nice. What needs to happen? What needs to happen? You first, fucko. Okay, just taking everything out of the van. Now I gotta wipe it down. I've had mice in here, I've noticed. They got a nice little stock. I'm amazed they didn't chew through any wires. Amazed, absolutely amazed. Okay, I know I sound batshit. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about my little mousey. Like, this is her travel cage and it feels very small. Like, I don't feel guilty when she's in there for like a night or two or even three, but if I'm gonna be in the van, I'm gonna be traveling for months with her. So I'm like, do I build a new cage? There's a big part of me that's thinking about taking this off and making my cabinet space right here a mouse cage because it only makes sense, right? How did I become this person? All right, here we go. So many screws in this thing. It's funny to look at like the things that I built before I knew how to build. Like I'm still not like a great builder, but 
Let's just say this van build would have taken a lot less time had I known the things that I know now. You know, this might actually work and be cute. Please don't be in love with someone else. Demolishing the van. For a mouse, I'm just gonna put like a back wall up. I think this could work. Potentially. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's cute. It's actually quite adorable. Okay. Nine and a quarter. Fifteen and three quarters. Nine and a quarter by fifteen and three quarters. Let's go check. They look so cheerful out here. Okay, I think I'm, oh, my shirt's just coming off. I think I've got most of my chores done here. I think I'm gonna be coming back here in a few days, like on the tail end of the journey, the journey out, the journey to go away, because I still have a few things to do. I got vinyl tarps to put on the outside of the screen porch. Last year I just had plastic, which didn't hold up very well. So this is hopefully gonna be a more permanent solution for each winter. I'm going to the homestead now and I'm gonna start kind of, I'm gonna put the plants in there obviously and then like get everything put away and I'm gonna head over there. Okay, here we go. Do I have everything? Phone wallet keys. This broke. Yep, there she goes. Yeah, you better hide it. Go. You're such a good mouse. <laughs> okay, I really have to go now. plants in. It looks great in here. This is fun. Maybe, maybe this should just be what the kitchen looks like from now on. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I'm 
giving you guys seasickness. I still haven't finished this. I haven't even at all continued working on it. But it is a gorgeous day. I don't know how many of these we have left. And I just want to go sit in the garden and weed. There's nothing left in the garden <laughs> to do really other than that and just get it nice and prepped for next year. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that. Okay, um, I am having a stressful time right now and I feel like I should talk about it because I it's like impeding me from filming or doing anything productive and that, that is the fact that I have no idea how I'm gonna winterize this house and it's just been like a constant thought in the back of my mind and I, I've already tried calling heating and plumbing companies but I was too late in the year. That is my own fault, my own problem. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Obviously I have a ton of plants. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. As for the rest of the house, I have to figure out how to drain the pipes. It's just stressing me out. It's stressing me out. I don't know what to do. I have to figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna work on the van right now because I can't do anything about the pipes right at this moment because literally it has to be like the last thing that I do so that I can just be done. Yikes. Join me on all of my adventures in not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Alright, I have decided to stop stressing about my winterizing water problems and just focus on finishing up this mouse cage today using my clothes as rags again. Always using my clothes as rags. I got some adhesive. Let's just jump right in. Oh wait, let's not bond things yet. Now it's like snow at the beach. I really wish I could take my power tools in the van. It's so fun to work on stuff. Ow! Hey, I still you have a van. I can still say I don't remember. Uh, I think it's actually nice out enough to like dry my clothes outside. Ugh. Fall is such a tease. done. I still have to put hinges on them. Right now they're just balancing. It's actually looking so good. I'm gonna give myself some instant gratification and I'm gonna put some bedding in there just to see how it starts looking up. Looking up? Looking? How it starts looking. Man, this is stuff is gonna get everywhere in the underside of my cabinets, isn't it? That's a problem for future me. Oh my god, this is getting real. It's 
so cute. It's funny, she actually makes a ton of noise at night because she'll run on her wheel for hours. It bothers most people, but it genuinely, if I wake up to her running on her wheel, <laughs> it actually just brings me so much joy. I'm gonna put the mattress in here and see how well it fits. And I also need to cut my mattress down to size because right now I've been shoving it. I don't need to explain it, you'll see. <laughs> oh my gosh, cute. My little mouse is just gonna be sleeping right next to me. Life has no rules. Do ridiculous shit, because no one, no one knows what they're doing and they're all just making it up, so just do stuff. Build a mouse cage in your van. Live in a van. <laughs> just start hacking away, right? Oh, my wrist is tired. A lot of fucking work. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong with this fun? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. That has been bugging me for years. It truly is just one moment of inspiration and your problems are solved, you know? Solved it! And now I can see my mouse better. Check it out. Thanks again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Use my code Hannah Lee for 30% off. See you next time.